So inside Wave Rover I've landed the engine, I've got the anchor road, I've got uh, all the fenders and the mooring lines all inside here. Uh, there, there wasn't a whole lot else I could do. Let's go up on deck now and I'll show you the hurricane preps that I made. Well back aft here I have uh, taken the Mark III apart. Um, part of the reason is I want to make a new vane for it, something uh, for light winds. I've uh, lashed the tiller. I've got one side tied off hard and then the other side has a bungee cord uh, to, keep it, uh, to keep it tight. I've taken the, uh, the sail, I've put the sail cover on for the first time and then I've put a uh, rope with uh, lashing it down and then I've lashed it either side so it can't move the, the whole bundle. It's, and now we'll go forward to the, to the mooring uh, connection. Okay, so there we have it. Um, it's two 5 8 lines. So these are 5 8 of an inch thick. There's two of them. Um, I've wrapped a uh, fire hose around it as anti-chafing. I've got my uh, guard on the anchor roller to keep it from popping out. I've lashed it this, with this incredibly strong, um, it's like a Dyneema product. So it's very, very strong and I've put some lashings forward, but that's just to keep the uh, fire hose, which is wrapped twice around from unraveling. And then at the bits, I've actually lashed the ropes um, onto the bits to keep these from flying up and off. Now, these will tighten up. This line is a nylon and it'll stretch as needed. Apart from that, uh, I've taken the lines and I've just, you know, taken them away from the mast as best I can. And everything's been lashed down. So, uh, well, that's all I can do. I mean, so a hurricane is uh, an extreme event and you can't really over prepare for it. I, I am limited in what I can do here. It's, it's supposed to be a very well protected anchorage. Uh, my uh, friend who's uh, lending me the mooring at the, at the club here, he had his boat on here last year when Hurricane Fiona came through and he said there was no problems whatsoever. And that, was, uh, that, that hurricane caused massive damage both here in Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. So I've done what I can. We're in a good spot. I've uh, taken the precautions, but I have to leave. As you know, I'm flying to Edmonton for, uh, my, my mother passed away just a few days ago, and I'm heading out for the funeral. So in all likelihood, even though I'm only going for five days, in all likelihood, the hurricane will have passed through in that time, or it will have become a non-event, hopefully the latter. Anyway, uh, Rovers, I've got a lot to do. Time to crack on. The Wave Rover 650. A design based on my single-handed ocean voyages. She's small, light, but easy to build and strong enough to cross any ocean. My name's Alan Mulholland and this is the Wave Rover Story. We had one part. Okay, Mark 3 is looking good. Everything's looking pretty good. Excellent. Right. Good driving. Thank you. <laughs> Sit rep there, Alan. Okay, so I went on board and everything's just like I left it. And the beautiful thing is it's totally dry, so we didn't get any rain through the mast boot. Uh, we've had one of the uh, topping lifts has parted, so I'll, I'll have to deal with that. That must have been a bit of strain. Uh, the mooring line, and I had wrapped that as I showed you earlier in um, fire hose, uh, that performed perfectly. The line didn't jump out of the anchor roller. Yeah, all in all, wave rover one, hurricane zero. Outstanding. 
So I'm here in the city of Halifax. Now Halifax has been a city since I believe 1749. And uh, you know, what a city. It's been 30 years since I was here last and it, uh, it's changed. If anything, it's, it's changed for the better. It's, it's really nice. In fact, this area I'm standing right here with the uh, big mass behind me. This is called uh, the Lower Deck and we were here on Sunday, uh, my good friend Stephen and I, and, and the place was just hopping. There was a live band. I mean, it's well used. It's, uh, it's beautiful that Halifax has this historic center. Now, uh, some of you might know the great Halifax explosion. That was in 1918, sort of toward the end of uh, World War I. And in that explosion, a, a uh, freighter carrying a ton of, well, tons of ammunition uh, hit another vessel and it just blew up and it would have leveled a good deal of the city and, and caused damage to all these buildings but you know they rebuilt tastefully uh, all the glass was shattered it was a, an amazing thing well worth looking it up if you're interested anyway I'm going to enjoy my day here and we're going to see if we can find the Maritime Museum which I understand is one of the best spots here in Halifax to visit so we're inside the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. There's, there's so much to see. I can't show you everything, but this is just an amazing place. And if anything, this is so much better than the last time I was here all those decades ago. Yeah, no, this bird's been on all the networks. It was on the front, front page of the newspaper the other uh, the week. Uh, he or she? She. she Nova, she's 15. Harris Hawk. What's her name? Nova. Nova. Like Nova Scotia. Bird. Very cool. Thank she's, you so much. She's doing bird control down here right now. Just keeping sea, seagulls off the waterfront. Is she? She's <laughs> working. Okay. She's a working bird. Yeah. I'm going to read this. The cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. So true. 
Yeah. What are the chances? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good, Good to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Kevin. Good to meet you, Stephen. Yeah. They're just, they're, they're protecting their financial interests. Exactly. You know, all nations did it back then. Right. <laughs> right. 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 So these walls were on that, and then they had the naval base, which is down forever. Uh, it's been sort of a dream, Kevin. So you, you wanted to build a boat for one. Yeah, it, I mean, I think this is it for me. Like, this is my last boat. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to go back and build another boat? No. <laughs> that was a decisive answer. <laughs> this is what makes Halifax Harbor so great. You see this area right here? This is Bedford Basin. And in fact, Wave Rover is located just over here, just off camera. And um, this is all protected. So they would set up the convoys here in order to take them across to England during the war and uh, provide safety with naval escort. So the dockyard is located up here, the naval dockyard, and then of course we follow this route over here to get out to sea. So a very well protected harbor indeed. Thank you.